Now let's discuss extraction of copper metal. For easy understanding and to make it more easy memorized for part, I have represented in form of flow chart. Now first selection of ore. For industrially extraction of copper, we will select its sulphide ore that is copper byrite that is CuFeS2. Now for betterment of the chemical reaction, we will convert into fine powder form. So after crushing this ore, we have crushed the powder form of ore. Now then next step is concentration. We know that whenever sulphide containing ore is available, we should use froth flotation step. So by using froth developer and froth stabilizer, by applying entire technique, we have concentrated a form of copper pyrite that is sulphide ore of copper. Now then, after we have concentrated ore, now we know that to convert it to its oxide form. Now for that if it is sulphide ore, we require roasting process. And for roasting process, we have to heat it at high temperature in presence of oxygen. So when this roasted ore or when this concentrated ore is involved in roasting, reaction 2 CuFeS2 plus O2 that gives cuprous sulphide plus 2 mole of iron sulphide and SO2 gas is released. Now maybe question arise, I want to clarify at this stage. Even though we have oxidized, why here oxides are not forming? So at the stage of this particular reaction roasting, now if mixture containing even 1% of iron sulphide, it will not allow conversion of cuprous sulphide into its oxide because copper has very strong attraction or affinity for sulphur and iron has very strong affinity for oxygen. So once we have this roasted mass, then we are adding sand and coke and then we apply process of smelting means this mixture is heated at a very high temperature so in that case whatever iron sulphide is present which is the prominent impurity and until we are not removing this it is not possible to convert cuprous sulphide to cuprous oxide so this iron sulphide further oxidized with oxygen then it will form iron oxide that is ferrous oxide and already sand is added so this is acidic and basic they are forming iron silicate slag which is floating on the surface and easy to remove now at the end of this reaction there is some amount of iron sulphide is left out and with the combination of cu 2 as means copper 1 sulphide and iron 2 sulphide this combination is known as mat now slags are less denser so they are floating on the surface while this combination is very high density containing liquid and so it is settled down at the bottom of this particular reactant part or reactor part. So once we have mat we can go for the next step for the extraction phenomenon of copper in the next session.